Hi friends, in the previous course we have started about the events of photosynthesis, about how photosynthesis was occurring, how did the sunlight and chlorophyll help conversion of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates and also it resulted in the splitting up of water molecules. Apart from them, we could study about now raw material of photosynthesis, that is how did, how do these materials help in photosynthesis and where do they come from how are they being absorbed by the plant starting off with carbon dioxide terrestrial plants means land plants the plants which are present on the land they obtain carbon dioxide from atmosphere we all know that air consists of three gases rather we can say three main gases nitrogen which is present in abundance 78 percent second is oxygen 21 percent and the rest are other gases amongst which the major gas is carbon dioxide so plants will obtain carbon dioxide from the atmosphere the ones which are living on the land now where do this carbon dioxide comes in the atmosphere from it is by the respiration in organisms we know that humans take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide so this carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere during our respiration and is present for plants use we know that in humans we have cells inside cells the food combines with oxygen to release carbon dioxide that is thrown out of the body into the air that is what happens in human cells the food and oxygen get combined to release carbon dioxide and the other process released is energy that carries out our chemical reactions the carbon dioxide is a waste product which is thrown out into the air so that is what this respiration is via respiration via our human respiration or via the animals also they also perform respiration the carbon dioxide is thrown into the atmosphere which is then taken up by the plants to perform photosynthesis second is decay and de decomposition of organic matter as we have already studied about saprophytes right what do they do they feed on the dead and decaying matter for their food similarly that same dead and decaying matter when the decomposition of that matter is occurring there are some gases released into the atmosphere out of which the major gas is carbon dioxide so thus it forms the major source of release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere thirdly byproduct of fossil fuel the major fossil fuel we know is coal coal is what carbon so that when we burn that coal for any of our use that carbon gets combined with the atmospheric oxygen and forms carbon dioxide which is then released in the atmosphere so i hope these three sources are clear the first is respiration second is decay of organic matter and third is fossil fuel carbon dioxide in atmosphere is taken up by terrestrial plants now how do this carbon dioxide get absorbed by the plants we know that we have leaf of the plant leaf of the plant have cells called as guard cells these are the guard cells present in the leaves so these guard cells form the structure called as stomata we all are very well aware about it right and these are the guard cells now what happens is this is the stomatal pore which is present between the two guard cells so these stomatal pore what happens is when this stomatal pore is open the oxygen goes out and the carbon dioxide comes in but when this stomatal pore is closed no gaseous exchange takes place so in short the leaf has this stomata through which the carbon dioxide is taken in that is what it is mentioned that carbon dioxide is taken up by the plants through stomata present on the surface of leaves during day the pores remain open through which exchange of gases takes place that is taken of oxygen and release of carbon dioxide 
और वाइस वर्सा ऑल्सो दैट इज हाउ दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज टेकन अप इन द प्लांट एंड सिमिलरली ऑक्सीजन इज ऑल्सो रिलीज आउट ड्यूरिंग फोटो सिंथिस बट इन केस द प्लांट इज ऑल्सो परफॉर्मिंग रेस्पिरेशन देन दी वाइस वर्सा हैपन्स द ऑक्सीजन इज टेकन इन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज थ्रो आउट this is a very natural process so you understood where does the gaseous exchange takes place it takes place through stomata which contains two guard cells and has a stomatal pore in the center when that pore opens the exchange of gases takes place and it stops when the pore gets closed on the other hand in submerged aquatic plants that is the plants which are under water carbon dioxide enters their body as bicarbonate ion by the process of diffusion there is no such structure present through which the gaseous exchange will take place it will take place through general body surface only by the process of diffusion we all know that what is diffusion it is the process of where the substances moves from the region of high concentration to the region of low concentration that is what happens the carbon dioxide from the outside atmosphere enters in the by the form of biocarbonate ions through diffusion clear about carbon dioxide coming on to the next part that is water now how is water obtained what plants obtain water mainly from soil with the help of root hair present on the roots we know about the structure of plant this is the shoot portion this is the ground level below the ground level it branches to form several roots right and these roots are further subdivided to form smaller roots like this now what happens is these roots have certain small structures called as root hairs these structures which i am drawing with the green color they are called as root hairs what do they root hairs do is they absorb the water present below this is the water present underground the soil the roots are submerged in the soil and the soil contains the underground water or the ground water which we say this water enters the root hair it is absorbed by this root hair by the process of osmosis what happens is this soil has high concentration of water the water present here is in high quantity and the roots do have only little amount of water very less amount of water now what will happen that by the process of photosynthesis the water will move into the roots the water will enter into the roots the roots will absorb this water from the soil and it will be taken up by the structures called as root hair so this process is called as osmosis that is what happens absorb water through osmosis the plant has the water has been absorbed from soil with the help of root hairs and it is taken by the process of osmosis now next point is this is our plant shoot portion and this is the below root portion water has been taken in here is the stem these are the leaves branching out out of the stem and here are certain other structures also through which plant is growing up now the point is the water present here how will this water reach the leaves because the sunlight which is falling it is falling on the leaves so to split up the water molecules water has to reach the leaf thus there are special conducting strands in the stem which will take the water to the leaves these stem these vascular strands are called as xylem so this way the water will reach into different leaves this strand is called as xylem so water from the roots will reach the leaves through these vascular strands called as xylems 
the water reaches leaves through xylem vessels and finally it will reach to the mesophyll tissue of the leaf where what is present chloroplast chloroplast containing chlorophyll and finally the sunlight will fall and will be absorbed by the chlorophyll pigment thus the solar energy there will split water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen so water then diffuses inside the mesophyll cells and reduces reaches the chloroplast present there and then this splitting up of water molecules will take place inside the leaves only apart from that sunlight plant trap sunlight with chlorophyll pigment present in the leaves plant will trap sunlight with the help of chlorophyll pigment we have already studied now this light is trapped in the form of high energy packets called as photons very important this is that sunlight gets trapped in the form of light energy packets called as photons this photons triggers chemical reaction in plants leading to synthesis of food that is what we had studied about the conversion of solar energy into chemical energy so this process is occurring via the presence of photons these photons will pros lead to this chemical reaction the chemical energy will have photons which will help this chemical reaction to occur so this is how the raw materials they get trapped inside the plant they are absorbed by the plant and these led to the changes in the photosynthetic reactions any doubt any problem please let me know via the comment section thank you